Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the carbon cycle. Okay, in my video on drawing an atom, I said that atoms are a bit like Lego bricks and the periodic table is like the Lego set of the universe. You can build models out of atoms, you can break them down, and rebuild them in different forms, just like with Lego. Uh, life on Earth is based on the atom carbon. If you get rid of the water, we are not a lot more than a big pile of carbon. And when we die, this atom doesn't die with us, it continues to exist. For all intents and purposes, these atoms are indestructible, existing for billions of years and making up different models over and over again throughout those millions and millions and billions of years. Okay, let's start with a tree. When this tree sheds its leaves or dies, the carbon atoms are returned to the soil. Under certain conditions, they may form coal, and in this case, the atoms are locked away for millions and millions of years, or until us clever human beings dig it up and burn it in the combustion reaction, releasing carbon back into the atmosphere in the form of carbon dioxide. Uh, by the way, on this diagram, anthropogenic is just another way of saying caused by humans. The majority of the leaves and general dead biological material is going to be broken down by detritivores, like earthworms and wood lice, and then decomposers, which are bacteria and fungi. And these creatures will respire, releasing carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. I should also point out that during the life of this tree it respired as well, during the hundreds of years that this tree exists, or even thousands of years, it respired um, and that releases carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. So far we've seen a lot of carbon entering the atmosphere, so how is the opposite happened? How, how does the opposite happen? How is it removed from the atmosphere? Well by photosynthesis. Plants fix carbon from carbon dioxide into their tissues. So a tree is a large store of carbon fixed into solid form and, uh, and there this atom stays until the plant dies or us clever humans again cut them down and burn them as we do when we use slash and burn techniques to clear rainforest. Carbon dioxide is also removed from the atmosphere as it dissolves into the oceans or is taken up by plants, mostly microscopic phytoplankton, miniature aquatic plants called phytoplankton. Uh, this plankton dies and decomposes, releasing CO2 back into the air. The carbon in the oceans can be converted into calcium carbonate, and this is used to build the shells of sea creatures. When these creatures die, their skeletons make up sedimentary rock. Okay, there we go, very quick. Let's summarise all of this. Carbon is put into the atmosphere by the respiration of plants, animals, decomposers, and by the combustion of fossil fuels. Um, uh, and the burning of rainforests and that sort of thing. Carbon is taken from the atmosphere by photosynthesis and absorption by the oceans. Okay, that was a quick run through of the carbon cycle. I hope it was of some use to you. Thank you very much for watching.